You're gonna have to stop doing that to yourself. I have to know if I could have stopped him. The man had a knife, he would have I killed you. I didn't know you. he had a knife. He was big and strong and I had a chance before he had a knife. How did I know you that? You couldn't have stopped him. You weren't you there. Could... You don't know. I forget every woman I've ever been around to whom this has happened has gone through the same thing. They've had to put themselves through this. They beat themselves up because they thought they could defend themselves. Exactly, but they got past it. They almost always realized there was nothing they could have done. It wasn't their fault. Almost always. Yes, when a man rapes a woman, it is never the woman's fault. It is the man's fault. It's a horrible thing. It's an inexcusable thing to do. Some women have a, a problem getting past this sense of responsibility that they've manufactured in their mind. You think I've manufactured this in my mind like it's a stupid imaginary thing that I could have actually stopped him, that I've actually no. done something about it? Is that what you're no, saying? No, no, it's not what I mean. It's not what I mean. Then what do you mean? This is real to you. This is real. Does that have anything to do with any of the women that you've worked with? I'm sorry. I just, I, I must be fooling myself thinking that I can help you with this. I must be way too close to it to be able to keep my emotions in check. I'm, I'm sorry. Time. Why? What's going on? Well, Eden's kind of, you know, she's having a real hard time. We, everything was okay until we went down to the police station. But More questioning? Yeah. They had a, a tape of the guy's voice, and they wanted her to try to ID it. Did she? No, she couldn't. She couldn't pinpoint that voice as being the voice of the guy who came in here. Well, it must have been really hard for her. Yeah, it was, and now she's somehow got it in her head that she's to blame for this, you know. That's not unusual, Cruz. I know, I just, some, I just hoped, prayed that somehow we would be spared. It's still real soon, Cruz. I know Eden is real strong, but we can't expect miracles. Would you mind talking to her right now? Not at all. Thank you. Let me... Darling... Uh, Dr. Donnelly's here, Heather. Uh, she'd like to talk to you. I appreciate this. I think I'll leave, because it seems to be easier for her to have me gone when she's trying to think about this. Yeah, you're probably right, Chris. I'd appreciate it if you stick around until I got back. I don't want her to be alone in the house. Okay. Okay. You know, let me ask you, is there anything else about her behavior or anything you can think of that I should know? Well, just that she seems to be more angry at herself than she is at the man who did this to her. Okay. Hi, Amy. Hi. Hi. Uh, Heather just stopped by, uh, and I, I was thinking I might, uh, might go out for a little while. And that's okay. All right. Okay, well, I'll, I'll be back. I'll see you later. Hi, Chris. Bye. Hi. Hi. How are you, Eden? Can I get you anything? No. No, I'm sure? fine. Yep, I'm fine. Okay. Well, I guess uh, Cruz told you that I... Yeah, I he told me. He had to go back down to the police station and tell a story over and over. And you probably replayed it in your mind a thousand times. Yeah. You know, it's kind of funny how at first your mind doesn't tend to focus on one thing for real long periods of time, but then after a while you start to dissect every little thing of the entire incident. I think that's what's happening to me, because I really think that I could have reacted differently when I was attacked. You think you had a choice? Yes. How, Amy? I had two or three really good chances where I, I could have hit him. I, I could have hurt him. You know what, Eden? 
I don't think I've ever talked to a rape victim who hadn't thought this exact same thing. But then after a while, they realized that there was really nothing that they could have done. And just the fact that they're alive shows that what they did was right. Oh, no. I know I could have stopped myself from being raped. Eden, why do you think you could have avoided being raped? My hands weren't tied. I could have hit him or scratched him. Eden, when you're attacked the way you are, the immediate reaction of your body is to go into shock. I wasn't in shock. I ran. You know, I know a lot of people think of a person in shock as being motionless, almost catatonic. But that's true in some cases, but there are different degrees of shock. Eden, you could be running, you could be struggling, but you don't always have control over your mind or your body. Well, maybe that's what happened to me in the beginning, but then I knew what was going on. I could have stopped him. How could you have stopped him, Eden? I could have fought harder in the beginning. You did fight him. I waited too long. I could have fought harder in the beginning. And then if I did, I could have stopped him and ran. Where, Eden? Out the terrace doors. The terrace doors were locked, weren't they? The doors were locked. Okay, let's... Let's, for argument's sake, say that they weren't locked or that you had gotten away from him and you'd managed to get the doors unlocked. Where would you have gone? I would have gone to the beach. Or I would have driven in my car or, or, or gone to the Eden, road. Eden, you know how strong and quick this man was. Do you honestly think that you could have made it to your car or to the beach in time before he caught you? Maybe. Maybe if I would have gotten outside. If I would have gotten outside, Eden, then maybe he, he wouldn't have outside. done it. He took you outside. He left you lying by the beach. Don't you think it's pretty obvious that even if you had gotten out, he wouldn't have stopped? Yeah, but... But what, Eden? It wouldn't have happened here. You mean that he, he wouldn't have violated the home that you and Cruz had made? If it had to happen... You know, why did it have to happen here? Eden, I know it's difficult. But you really have to try to separate the actual act of violence from where it took place. Especially if you want to keep living here. Do you? Mm -hmm. Then you have to know in your mind and you have to understand that the rape was something that had nothing to do with this house. You had no control over where it happened. Well, I'd like to believe that, but... Do you still think you could have gotten away from him? All right, maybe I couldn't have gotten away from him. Maybe I couldn't have. But if I would have gotten him outside, maybe I could have talked to him. Eden, do you really think you could have talked to this man, reasoned with him? I could have been logical. I could have told him that I was going to have a baby. And then maybe I would have, you know, appealed to a sense of humanity, and, Eden, and then he wouldn't have done it to Eden, me. You may think that, but you're, you're basing it on your values, your sense of humanity. This man, whoever he was, wasn't playing by the same rules, Eden. <laughs> Once he came inside of this house and decided to commit this act of violence, there was nothing that you could have done. If anything, you might have provoked him into hurting you more. How could he have hurt me more? Eden, he could have killed you. Don't you understand, Eden? There was nothing else that you could have done. No. I could have killed him. What are you doing? Just getting rid of a lot of junk. Doesn't this stuff mean anything to you? Yeah, it used to, but, uh... You know, it's kind of sick to hang on to little mementos from the war, huh? Well, I don't think it's sick to hang on to stuff that was this important to you. I mean, these are important, important memories, aren't they? They're all bad, so I'm dumping them. What good is it going to be? I don't know, but maybe it'll help me pretend that none of it ever happened. And you sure you want to pretend that it didn't happen? Yeah. Yeah, because, um... This is the past, and I'm getting rid of it. I'm getting rid of a lot of things. Including Andrea. Yeah. 
Yeah, she's gone. She's history, just like the war. You know, I don't think it makes any sense to equate Andrea with the war. Well, it makes more sense than you know. And you can just let her go just like that, even though you've been in love with the woman? Baby, I don't know. We'll see, won't we? Doesn't count for anything, how all the, all the struggles you had to go through to get together, that doesn't count for anything? Another battle fought and lost. Well, if it's lost, it's because you're calling it lost. I know she didn't give up on this yet. Well, I have. Well, Kane, I'm not saying it would be easy. It's never easy. You don't know. Right. I don't know, you know, I mean, what, what trouble have I ever had? You know, I mean, we, we never go through any struggles. We have it easy. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything you're having to go through. I'd like to kill the bastard who did this to her. Revenge can be sweet. But how often do you really get it? I guess that remains to be seen. Yeah, well, at least they got the guy and they got him locked up. Well, we don't know that. We, uh... Eden is not sure he's the one. She can't be absolutely sure who did this anymore. I know who did it. What? Yeah, I know him very well. You think you could have killed him, Eden? Yes. How? After Critter attacked me, Cruz left one of his service revolvers in the drawer by the terrace doors. You think you could have used that gun to stop the rapist? Yes. Have you ever shot anyone before, Eden? No. And you think you could have shot this man? Yes, I could have. And do it, Eden. Do what? He's coming towards you, Eden. You have the gun no. in your hands. Shoot him. No. Oh, no! You're right. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. Are you feeling any better? Better? I don't know. Tired? Little. Feel a little foolish. Why? Thinking I could have stopped him. Don't feel foolish about that. Even you could have been killed. He came away with your life. Now what you have to do is you have to try and let go of some of the guilt. I don't know if I can do that. Heather. He made me feel ashamed. And it makes me confused. I feel really confused about everything. Of course you do, Eden. Of course you do. That man came into your house and, and turned your whole life upside down. He, he, he broke all of the rules that you live by. And there's nothing that's logical or fair or just about any of that. That is, it's very hard to comprehend. It's just that sometimes I think I can deal with it. And then I find out that I'm really, really just angry. And I want to scream. It's going to take a while for that anger to subside. Well, it's just these mood swings, you know. Feeling kind of depressed and then I'm, I'm okay and then I feel angry. I want to be in control of it. Eden, it's okay to have these feelings. It's okay. It's very, very natural. You know, you have to remember that in spite of everything else that he did to you, you still have crews, you have your family, you have this house, you're going to have children of your own someday. And nothing that he did to you can ever take that away. You know, when you start to have those feelings, that, that anger, remind yourself, remember of all the wonderful things that you have. I will. I do think about them. I, uh, I don't think I'll ever be able to forget what he did to me, no. You probably won't. And you shouldn't. But as time goes on, Eden, the memory will become easier to live with. I hope so. Oh, it will. You know, Eden, that man wanted to feel power over you. 
That's what an act of violence is all about. It's a power struggle. But you made it. You're here and you're, you're fighting it. And it's not going to ruin the rest of your life. So in that respect, Eden, you're going to be a winner. You're going to win, not him, you. You know the guy who did this to Eden? What the hell is that supposed to mean? I know his kind. I know how his mind works. You want to explain that to me? He's a power freak. He has inadequacies, he feels, so he tries to compensate with power. And he gets power by hurting women, is it? He gets it any way he can, but yeah, dominating women can be part of it. He's also a loner. Probably driven away everyone that was ever close to him. What about his friends? Always got people he probably calls friends, but they aren't close. They don't know him. They only know his public persona. And how do you know so much about him, Kate? I've known a lot of guys like him. Guys who stay up all night with you and laugh and drink and talk about how great it is back home. And little League. And then the next day, they're out there blowing away women and children and getting off on it. Getting off on it. You know, when I think about what this man did to my wife, it makes me sick. I'm sorry, I'm not making this any easier for you. Oh, that's okay. This doesn't have to be easy. I don't expect this to be easy. I just... I expect that I will figure out who this bastard is eventually. You better. And you better stop him because... I'll just keep going. Until someone stops him for good. Yeah, well, that, that's okay. We're not gonna let him get away with this. I'm not. still blaming herself? She may go through periods of that from time to time, but it shouldn't be as hard for her anymore. I think, uh, I think she finally came to the realization that there was nothing that she could have done. That's great. You know, I know how much she's hurting, Heather. It's like, it's like a mountain fell on her or something, you know, and you can't dig out from something like that except for one piece at a time. Yeah. Well, considering the time frame, I think she's got a pretty good grasp on reality. Yeah. Yeah, now she just has to get back on with her life. Well, thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye, Cruz. Bye. discuss with her? Actually, I thought we'd talk about it later. There's something I want to talk to you about first. Okay, what's that? When I was at the station and Boswell was asking me all those questions and asked me to identify Critter's voice, I was afraid. And now, I'm not so afraid. And I realized that he really wanted to hurt me and he could have easily disguised his voice. That's true. So I want to go ahead and press charges. Santa Barbara will continue in a special half-hour edition all this week on NBC. And tonight, the USA takes on Yugoslavia for the gold medal in women's basketball. And Jackie Joyner Kersey makes her bid for another gold in the women's long jump. Plus, five Americans enter the boxing semifinals in quest of Olympic glory. And the super heavyweights of the world challenge the bar in the weightlifting competition. 
The Olympics are live tonight only on NBC.